Fellas, adjust your hats. Ladies, adjust your wigs. Cause bitch, Tech Nine went the fuck, could literally fuck off on the storm. And this is, this is a high charge voltage, a high voltage Warning for all the Tech Nine fans, y'all are going to have a fucking blast listening to this album. I am about to go the literal hell off on this goddamn review because Tech Nine is a creative, lyrical, rhyme genius. This motherfucker goes off, okay? AWF. He goes off, okay? Now, this album, The Storm Bitch, I ain't never been slacked. He, he just keeps on coming and keeps on coming. He is never going to stop. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me adjust my, let me adjust my hat. Because, bitch, it's, it, it's finna get crazy. It's finna get crazy. It's finna get crazy. It's finna get crazy. Let me calm down for a minute. I just got to hear this song, this whole damn album, from 1 to 32. Guys, I don't have time for Tech Nines ass today. I don't have time for it. But we, but, 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 hold on. Hold on. Now, as we know, Tech Nine broke this album down in three parts, okay? He got 1 to 30, okay? He got the Kingdom side of the album, the Clown Town side of the album, and, 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 and the G-Zone. I don't know which one is my favorite part of the album, but uh, uh, it don't matter, because the whole album is, is just fire. The first song is Godspeed. He said he's tired of appeasing the people, of showing them, of trying to make people like his stuff. He's saying, fuck everybody. If you don't like my shit, get the fuck out and go and, and listen to that other whack shit that you listen to is basically what he is saying. I don't have time. Tech just went, he, I mean, he, 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 he channeled. Uh, the, 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 these crazy ass, no rapping ass people on this song, okay? Godspeed is just probably one of my favorites because it, it's the opening of the album. He channeled the entire, these newcomers and the music industry, this Lil Yachty and all these other people who's trying to do this. These no singing, these no vocal, these no lyric ass rappers that he is coming after. He is coming after every all them rappers on this song. Let me just tell you, he is coming after everybody ass, okay? He just went straight in on this song. He said, Godspeed. If you don't listen, if you don't want to join my team, bitch, Godspeed. Go on, go on and try somebody else. He snapped. As you all know, Seven is the producer of all these songs, or well, most of the songs, but the majority of all the songs and in each of the categories. Y'all know Seven is a genius. He's one of the hot, the biggest producers of strange music. But then, uh, but but hold on, he he went need Jesus, okay? Featuring my boy Stevie Stone. He came in with an epic ass hook, okay? Like always, Stevie Stone goes off. He went in with it. Also with JL from JLB Hood. Y'all know who he is, okay? Need Jesus. He's just basically saying that everybody needs Jesus, okay? We all need Jesus, okay? And, 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 and Lord forgive him for his sins. But Tech went off on this, okay? He did it with that. The, the third song is Sriracha. He's putting everything on hot sauce. Now, guys, I didn't want to get this review, uh, uh, to the, the single review, because for one, I don't like when every time when Tech Man bring out an album, he always spoil the songs. So I didn't want to listen. I didn't even listen to some of the other songs that he just had dropped the, the day before. But he really, really went off with, uh, with Sriracha. That's one of my favorite songs, uh, uh featuring Logic. Logic. Which was I thought was a very 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 he had a, 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 a epically amazing rap okay with this song okay uh, I didn't I didn't ever think that was gonna be a, a, that him and Tech was gonna do something together that that actually came as a surprise also Joyner Lucas what the hell we did we did we did we did we did we did back we did we did fast we did we did oh we did and okay he just killed the whole rest of the song Sriracha. Okay, that's my shit. That's my shit. Wi-Fi, the skip. He was basically telling a story about uh, uh he one time he was in London and somebody was asking for a Wi-Fi code and then they were saying Wi-Fi instead of Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, which is number five of the album, 
He literally slayed my black ass, okay? He said, uh, you don't need a connection to, to fuck around with me. I am am the connection. I'm the Wi-Fi, okay? That's what he is saying, okay? Now, I love, I love, this is probably another one of my favorite songs. It's got a little, it's got a hard, boom, boom. And it, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. It's one of my favorites, that's cold. Everybody But Me is just one of those songs uh, I really, really like. It's a club joint. It had to grow on me at first. I think I said this on a couple of reviews. But yeah, it had to grow on me at first, and I was for it. I'm for it. Get off me, bitch. Tech always gotta put us on to fuck your mind up. He literally... Get off me. Featuring my boy Darius Saffron and Problem. This is one of my favorite songs. I'm going to be playing this like crazy. Like, I just really, really mess with this song. I just really, really think that this song is just one of those songs you can play over and over. Because it got this do, 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 do. It's so weird. And it's so different. But it's a party song. They basically talking about girls getting on them and touching all on them. And they just saying here, Darius Saffron is, get off me. Get off me. I know that's right. He was going off. I love this song. This is one of my favorites. I, I, oh, tech, wait a minute. Then that's the end of it. Then we get, that's the end of uh, Kingdom. Then we get into Clown Town. Now, you know what Clown Town is. This is when he bring that inner freak, that inner craziness out at him. Now, I love it. Get get it, get in, uh, 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 get it on, get, get it now. I get it now. I'm sorry. Y'all know I reviewed that song. I'm going to skip that. I'm going crazy, y'all. I'm in impure thoughts, but... I get it now. Y'all know that's my song. I reviewed that. Uh, Hold on me. Oh my God. Hold on me. This girl was uh, uh, Kate. Kate uh, Rose. This girl sounds beautiful. Now she was kind of giving me a little, um, a little Lana Del Rey. She kind of this kind of sounded. This she was channeling Lana Del Rey kind of with this one. I was really feeling with it. I fucks with it heavy. This is just one of those songs that kind of had a little. Uh, Little blue, a little, I don't know, a little tad blues in it, but it was different. It's different. It's got a nice kick ass little beat to it. And it's basically, it's a little nasty song called Hold On Me. It's basically just him getting it on with a girl, basically. I love it. Starting to turn. Okay, now I don't know what the hell he went crazy. He went Munjo Jumbo, uh, Kiss rock okay he he went crazy with this he went crazy with this this is featuring jonathan davis okay i love this song i just think that he added a nice metal rock feel to this one it's crazy as hell and i think he's basically saying he's starting to turn the inner beast is 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 is, is, is coming out of him as he's going in this girl now i don't know if that's what it's talking about but i think that's what i was kind of getting from it okay because you know what, when he says the clown, y'all know what he mean when he say that. Poisoning the well. This this song was just so uniquely creative to me because he just really, really put a, a lot of hard work and dedication into this song. I just thought that it was amazing. It's just probably another one of my favorites. He's uh, channeling a lot of different uh, uh, issues on this song. And I love it. That's the then that's when we went we reached the end of that. Then we are getting to G Zone. He just went straight up gangster with the G Zone. This is probably the best part of the album, okay? Bus serves, okay. Somebody did a bus serves. I like this little beat for one. Okay, big scoop. Y'all know I, he came in, he came through, or did he come through? Okay, he came through, he did it. The young Debbie D. I don't know who he is, but he had a nice little hook with the song. Uh, saying bust a serve or something. Now I like that one. Okay, Buddha. This boy put boys to men. Okay, I remember one time I was saying on his Instagram he was talking to uh one of the boys to men members. Okay, and he basically asked him to use uh one two three four five six seven. Y'all know my song. Uh, 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 I can never. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I love it. Boys to Men. That's my song. That's my song. Okay, that's a classic song. He basically sampled Boys to Men, and it's also featuring um, uh, Adrian Truth Buddha. He's talking about he's the Buddha. Okay, uh, uh, you know he he was going a little crazy. He was kind of talking shit on this one. I liked it. Okay, I love it. Number thirteen is one of my favorites. No gun control. This song really came out as different for me because it had a nice bluesy feel to it, but it also had a, a little twist. Okay. 
He's basically saying he's gonna go off and shoot any fucking body, okay? He ain't playing. He ain't playing. Now, what if it was me? He speaks it, it channels about uh, different situations in the black community, uh, uh, not also the black community, with any situation of, uh, of a cop. Now, okay, a lot of people was getting on my ass when I did the review. I ain't got time for that when I did the song, the video review uh, for what if it was me? Y'all know that's my song, okay? I'm gonna skip that one. But that's my song, though. Anywhere. Now he, I never thought I would see the day he would he he would do a song with Marcia Ambrosius. Okay, this this girl for one, she's a Leo. Shout out to her. I'm a Leo as well. But I really 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 fucks with this song. This song was the most smoothest song I ever heard from Tech Nine. It's basically saying, "Take me away from here." When y'all when I when I channel when I put when I channel Janet. Okay, it's basically saying the same message. I wanna I wanna go away. I wanna fly away. Fly 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 away. Okay, from here, okay. Okay, he kind of did a little, kind of put a little Forrest Gump at the end of it, and that was, it was genius as hell, but I love this song, the beat. He's just basically saying he wants to take off and go, and, 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 and go away from, 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 from this crazy mess that he's going through. So it's anywhere, I want to go anywhere, okay, I love it, okay, I fucks with it, heavy, heavy. Then, uh, after that, there is... Uh, the Needle feature Chris Calico. Now, this song was really deep, okay? It, it, it's talking a little bit about how he's kind of, think, uh, you know, he's kind of doing thank yous and shout outs on this one. I, I was digging with it. It was cool. No running to your mama. Now, he went straight up gangster on this song, okay? He's basically saying, Come, if you step to me face to face in the street, I'm going to kill you, okay? Don't, don't go running to your mama, okay? He's, I think he was kind of... Talking a little bit, uh, he was kind of channeling back into when he was younger. I think a couple of a couple of these songs, he was kind of channeling uh, back to when he was a little younger. And uh, you know, he was in, he ran into some situations that he got into some stuff. But he was basically saying he went straight up gangster. Okay, he went straight up gangster. Okay, till I'm gone. He's basically saying, uh, you guys have me all you want until I'm gone. He's but this is just a song speaking of for future tense. Okay. Uh, amazing, amazing, amazing! I love it, I love it, I love it. Twenty, the 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 last song of the standard edition is "The Long Way." He's basically talking about all his troubles and everything, how he's been through so much stuff, and he still, and, and how his fans still with him, and how he's been through so much stuff, and how his music has took him very far. He he's gone the long way, you know. Everybody in strange music has gone long. He 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 talks about everything. He's just. Straight up humble on this song. I just really, really love this album. Now, the second part of the album, which I thought was really, really nice, he uh, just put a lot of different songs. He put a lot of bonus songs, you know, from other stuff that he recorded. That's dope as hell. Okay, he got songs with a lot of his his artists, and he just let them have their shine. And I love it. Okay, he got uh uh for what which is one of my favorite songs right now i can't i just uh, this song is just one of those songs i just know i'm gonna I'm just keep listening to i just like it for what okay he's just saying for what what you messing with me for for what okay i love it then we got on thing featuring jl i thought that was a cool song i ain't gonna say it was my favorite but it was cool it was dope then we got choosing from brandosha's Br uh, uh, choosing that was a cool song. Now, I remember I was going to try to review it, but I said, no, no, I'm not going to review because tech ads need to stop dropping these songs. But whatever. Then we got Ignorance featuring Darian Saffron. Boy, Darian need to hurry up and come out with an album because he went straight. He straight up murdered the rapping and the singing. This boy is dope. I love it. Delete it. Featuring my girl, Mackenzie Nicole. Mc Mackenzie? It's amazing, okay? I love Deleted. I started to do a, 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 a song reaction of this, but I wanted to save it for the album. So there you guys have it. I done did it. Uh, Grid Lock featuring Seth's crew. Now, wait a minute. This song slayed me like crazy. This is another one that's going to be on repeat because Seth's crew always do amazing amazing stuff. Okay, Last Day Alive feature Recognize. I liked it. It had a nice flow to it. Uh, he's basically saying he's living his life like it's his last day alive. Okay, I definitely really, really messes with it. Kansas City, this song was just so old school up to Tech Nine's label. He just talks about where he's from and everything and I just love it. Then we got Wet.
I'm just done with Tech Nine's ass for one day. That that shit is gonna be on repeat like crazy. That is one of my favorites right now. I got so many favorites I can't even just choose. Okay, Colossus feature Murs. Col it was really dope. Y'all know Murs is dope. I love it. Uh, uh, okay, it's amazing. Uh, mind mind cuff. Oh my god. When I say he was talking nasty ass shit on this song, he was talking that this is one of my favorites. I'm so undone. I cannot deal with Tech Nine. Okay, I cannot. I cannot. Okay. Oh, uh, we're not sorry. Featuring Mackenzie Nicole. Okay, my God, the last song of the album is this. We're not sorry for being so dope in this in, in strange music. Okay, now. This is this is what I have to say to all the Tech Nine haters. You bitches keep on trying if you want to, but Tech Nine is always gonna be here. He's always gonna slay my black ass. I don't give a fuck what you think about me. I don't give a care what you think about uh, him. Okay, because I'm always gonna support him, and all his real fans are always gonna support him. He is an amazing artist. Y'all are not about y'all not stopping him, cause he gonna keep on saying y'all asses. He can, I don't. This is for anybody who hate on Tech Nine. I done seen this man live. Okay. Okay? And he has really, really slayed me uh, in, in many ways that I never ever thought I could be slaying. I went to his concert. It was everything, okay? Now, Tech has been slaying for years and years and years and is going to keep slaying. So, bet on that. This is Forever Brandon TV signing off. What? Ooh! Ah! Uh. face, my fucking face right now. Wait a minute. Ooh. Bitch. Oh, hell no. Ooh. Hell no. Bitch, 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 bitch. Tech Nine fucking stepping on this CD. Oh.